स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं लैंडर मॉड्यूल पीपल आर अपलोडिंग आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी सर वी हैव अचीव सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन द मून इंडिया इज ऑन द मून India on Wednesday scripted history as Indian Space Research Organization's ambitious third moon mission Chandrayaan 3's lander module touched down on the lunar surface, making it only the fourth country to accomplish the feat and first to reach the uncharted south pole of Earth's only natural satellite. A proud moment for every Indian around the world. After India's Chandrayaan 2 lander unfortunately failed to land on the moon in 2019 during its final mission phase, the Indian Space Research Organization (ISRO) undertook building a repeat mission with Chandrayaan 3. To increase the chances of soft landing this time around, ISRO has made several upgrades in Chandrayaan 3 lander such as software improvements to accommodate failure, strengthened legs, a couple of new sensors for enhanced and redundant navigation related measurements, and better power and communication systems. Chandrayaan 3 is a follow-on mission to Chandrayaan 2 to demonstrate end-to-end capability in safe landing and roving on the lunar surface. It consists of lander and rover configuration. It was launched by LVM3 from SDSC Shahar, Sri Harakota. The propulsion module carries the lander and rover configuration to 100 km lunar orbit. The propulsion module has spectral polarimetry of habitable planet Earth shape payload to study the spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth from the lunar orbit. Lander payloads, Chandra's surface thermal physical experiment, chased to measure the thermal conductivity and temperature. Instrument for Lunar Seismic Activity (ILSA) for measuring the seismicity around the landing site. Langmuir probe (LP) to estimate the plasma density and its variations. A passive laser retroreflector array from NASA is accommodated for lunar laser ranging studies. Rover payloads, Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer (APXS) and Laser Induced Breakdown Spectroscope (LIBS) for deriving the elemental composition in the vicinity of landing site. Chandrayaan 3 consists of an indigenous lander module, propulsion module, and a rover with an objective of developing and demonstrating new technologies required for interplanetary missions. The lander have the capability to soft land at a specified lunar site and deploy the rover which can carry out in situ chemical analysis of the lunar surface during the course of its mobility. The lander and the rover have scientific payloads to carry out experiments on the lunar surface. The main function of propulsion module is to carry the lander module from launch vehicle injection till final lunar 100 km circular polar orbit and separate the lander module from propulsion module. Apart from this, the propulsion module also has one scientific payload as a value addition which will be operated post separation of lander module. The launcher identified for Chandrayaan 3 is GSLV MK3 which will place the integrated module in an elliptic parking orbit EPO of size 170 by 36500 km. Accomplished with a budget of about 6.15 billion rupees, 75 million dollars, this was India's second attempt to touch down on the moon. A previous mission in 2019, Chandrayaan 2, successfully deployed an orbiter, but its lander crashed. Lunar landing is the most significant Indian scientific achievement. People across the country tuned in to watch the landing on Wednesday, with nearly 7 million people viewing the YouTube live stream alone. Besides boosting India's standing as a space power and its reputation for cost competitive space engineering, the landing is also seen as a major moment of national pride. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said he has been congratulated by everyone since Wednesday and that the world saw the successful landing not as one country's achievement but that of all of humanity. With the success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, many doors have opened for the future space exploration for ISRO and India.